today I'm going to talk about Specialized RX XTAB RDT system. I'll just give you a brief overview initially and then show you how to compound rapid dissolve tablets using this system. And the complete system does come with a detailed instruction manual. And I will just show you how the components fit together. First, the cavity plate sets into the quarter score plate. These two plates are then set on the base heating plate. And the system also comes with a tamper plate that aligns with the cavity plate for easy tamping. And as you can see, the system also comes with a digital temperature controller. You're able to program and set to desired temperature. Some other accessories include a scraper spatula, a scraper pry tool, stainless steel sieve, stainless steel sieve receiver, we recommend using our Excel RDT rapid dissolve tablet base. It's sugar free. We also have hot hand protectors for handling uh, the plate once it's removed from the base heating plate. And we also have a 30 dose blister pack and sleeve for dispensing uh, a rapid dissolve tablets. Next, I'll talk about compounding rapid dissolve tablets using the Specialized RX XTAB system. First, what you want to do is preheat the base plate and bring it up to your desired temperature. This digital controller can be set at whatever temperature your formula calls out. I have it set at 100 degrees right now. Just hit set and you can see how fast the base plate heats up. So this base plate will heat up to 60 degrees in 30 seconds. So while that's heating, next we will begin compounding our rapid dissolve tablets. First, aligning the cavity plate and the quarter score plate. As you can see, there's 196 cavities. Each cavity has quarter score marks in the quarter score plate. you're done mixing all the ingredients together, next you'll want to fill the cavity plate with the rapid dissolve tablet powder. So ideally, compounding in rapid dissolve tablets should all be done under a containment hood to protect the compounder as well as clients that come into the pharmacy per USP 800. But for demonstration purposes, uh, we're just compounding these on a bench top.
Next, we'll go ahead and line up the tamper plate and gently tamp the RDTs in place. So in between tamping events, the residual powder can be just carried off into a wave out and saved for the next tamping event. And after the last tamping event, what you want to do is invert the tamper plate over the cavities. This can be used to contain the heat in the cavity plate while the RDTs are being heated up for the prescribed temperature and time for your formula.